In mathematics, factorial of a non-negative integer n is the product of all natural numbers up to n. We denoted it as n factorial. Now, for example, 5 factorial is equals to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, that is 120. For 4 factorial, it is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, that is 24. In this way, 2 factorial is 2 and 1 factorial is 1. Now, the interesting thing is, 0 factorial is also 1. Why is 0 factorial 1? Let's see how. In general, n factorial is written as like this. So, n factorial is n into n minus 1 factorial. That is, n minus 1 factorial can be written as n factorial by n. Now, 3 factorial is 4 factorial by 4, that is 6. 2 factorial is 3 factorial by 3, that is 2. And 1 factorial is 2 factorial by 2, that is 1. If we see the pattern, we can write 0 factorial as 1 factorial by 1 equals to 1. One more thing, if we take the negative 1 factorial, it can be written as 0 factorial by 0, that is infinity. In fact, all negative number factorial is infinity. Now, why this factorial operator is so important? It is used in many areas of mathematics, in algebra, in mathematical analysis, but it mostly occurs in the fact that there are n factorial ways to arrange n distinct object in a sequence. We call this type of arrangement as permutation. Now, what is permutation? It is all about arrangement and counting. To know clearly, let us take an example. Suppose we have two fruits, an apple and an orange. If I ask you, in how many ways we can arrange these fruits? Obviously, there are two ways. Apple and orange, this is the one. And the second one is orange and apple. Now, take a banana with them. So, now we have three fruits. Apple, orange and banana. Let's see how we can arrange these three fruits in different ways. First, apple, orange, banana. Second, orange, apple, banana. Third, orange, banana, apple. Fourth, banana, orange, apple. Fifth, banana, apple, orange. And sixth, apple, banana, orange. So there are six different types of arrangement. In this way, if we have four fruits, then we can arrange them into 24 different ways. So we can say there are three factorial ways we can arrange three different objects. Two factorial ways for two different objects. In fact, there are n factorial ways to arrange n distinct objects in a sequence. This is the basic concept of permutation. In my next video, I will discuss more about this topic.